Okay, this is a very interesting scenario, and I'm glad you asked it because, you know, for all the parents out there, this would be a scenario you may see for your own child uh, as they enter high school. We've seen this uh, more than a few times in the course of representing clients. And uh, so let's go ahead and start. Private Florida, private school in Florida, but I'm assuming, I'm going to assume that uh, it's one that receives a state and federal funding in order to provide specialized instruction for students grades through 12 with autism, Asperger's, dyslexia, so forth and so on. Um, so therefore, they would be held to an IEP, the same type of rules um, that would govern you know, a public school. So you have this situation to where a group of students were accused, accused of um, sipping alcohol out of a water bottle that some student had brought and that uh, your child um, thinking it was something else, which I've had situations like that, took a sip. So therefore got thrown in with all the other students and suspended for five days. What can you do about it? And this is what parents need to understand about um, the Constitution <laughs> and the Bill of Rights in the United States, okay? Because this is going to apply to all 50 states, uh, unless, of course, a state provides some kind of enhancement, uh, which most don't. Uh, children have diminished rights. Uh, their rights are encased and protected um, under the parents. And so the Supreme Court of the United States and the appellate courts, children have rights, but at the same time within a school environment, um, they have what would be considered diminished rights, uh, meaning that they still have a right to um, due process, meaning that they get to confront their accusers, they get to put on evidence, but unfortunately, the parameters are limited uh, because they have limited rights. So what constitutes a full due process um, is sort of up to the interpretation of the school and the application of the school, which isn't going to be fair nine times out of ten. And in this particular situation, um, what they can say is, is that, uh, you know, your child was given you know, their opportunity to due process. And that doesn't necessarily mean that that actually happened. Um, but it's a watered down, diluted, you know, opportunity. You are correct every which way, you know, you're talking that, that you know, your child should have an opportunity to, um, to present evidence or proof or at least have the school system present their proof uh, beyond a reasonable doubt or through a preponderance of evidence that your child actually did any of this. Uh, but what they're saying is, no, we don't have to do that. And this is where you get into the second part. They're right. Uh, they don't have to provide you with anything. Um, they can suspend your child even with an IEP for up to 10 school days without even giving you a reason, without, without any justification whatsoever. Uh, they can do that. Now, do I think it's right? No, I don't think it's right that they do that. I'm just saying that they're given every school system that takes federal or state funding or is a public school gets 10 days to where they can sit there and just implement or or enforce the student code of conduct as written or toward their own proclivities of, of whatever they think that your child has done. And that's just how it is uh, up to 10 days. So they got your child for five days. Um, without any kind of um, uh, evidence being supported to justify the suspensions. Now, could you go to the media? Yeah, but I, I'm telling you, um, that's going to be the complexity that you're running into. And so if it was me and if it was a recommend, my, I mean, my recommendation, and it's not going to make anybody happy, uh, do the five days and move on. Um, it's sometimes in this world, 
It doesn't matter how right you are. Um, you sit there and you have to sit there and weigh the benefits, the pros and the cons to whatever stand that you're wanting to make on behalf of your child. And I completely get that. Um, at the same time, you've got to take the incident and, and your, your child's participation in the school in a, in a global perspective and has it been a benefit to your child and, you know, administrators or people in charge, police, the government, um, religious officials, it doesn't matter. These people are imperfect and they're going to stub their toe and they're going to make mistakes. They're going to make rash, incompetent, ignorant decisions. And that's how I chalk this up. This just bad leadership at the same time, you know, is it worth whatever remaining time your child has in the school or, or whatever greater benefit exists within the school for you to uh, continue to press something. Um, now, can you use this opportunity for your child? And I've done this, I've had to do this with mine um, in many instances to where you use this as a teachable moment about how not to act, um, about not trusting what people are handing you um, just because it looks like a water bottle, it looks like whatever, you'd never know. Uh, but I also use it as an opportunity to say, this is a bad leader. This is a bad leader. And, you know, you should be given your right to um, confront your accuser. You should have um, evidence put on to support your guilt. And, and it wasn't. Because life isn't fair. Institutions don't necessarily and always do what they're supposed to. Hence the reason I am very busy in what I do is that government institutions that receive these funds or private schools that receive these funds to help and benefit our children are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. It doesn't make it right. Absolutely, it doesn't make it right. But is it something that provides you footing to take action against? No, it doesn't because... For multiple reasons. Your child's diminished rights and they have up to 10 days uh, if they receive state and federal funding to suspend your child without any kind of reason given, okay, before it becomes something that requires a, a consideration of the IEP team. Good question.